Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here from the Disk Drill team and today we're going to be taking a look at the bootable feature within the latest version of Disk Drill. So the bootable feature allows you to create a boot drive and this is really useful for a couple reasons. In the area of data recovery, this is super useful because it allows you to troubleshoot in the event that you have a partition that is damaged and you can't essentially boot into a certain disk or what have you. Having a boot drive is always handy. Uh, to have. So you can create this in distro, but when you go to the app here, you'll see your list of drives and you'll see in the top here the ability to create boot drive. Now by clicking on this, we'll open the boot drive wizard and it's going to walk you through essentially what this does. So again, like I mentioned, to increase data recovery chances in the case of let's say your, your main drive or whatever system partition is corrupted, this is essentially future proofing in the, in the event that something goes wrong, allows you to create a boot drive via distro. So you'll need a two gigabyte or more flash drive, so a USB flash drive to be inserted. And essentially the steps here is you're gonna choose a source recovery drive from a acting OS 10 partition in this case. You choose a destination drive to make bootable. And once done, you can easily reboot, in this case, your Mac holding the option key and then choosing that disk drill boot drive to partition safely and recover your data via that boot drive here. So okay, well, let's do it. We'll hit that button there. And you'll see here, we're gonna choose our recovery partition. Now in this case, I already have a recovery HD on this current installation of OS 10. So we'll use this as a source. So that's step one, selecting the source of which we wanna use for our recovery drive here. And then the second step is to actually create the boot drive itself. So we have the recovery partition, and then we're gonna set this pen drive here that I have, this is a 15 gig sand disk, to be the bootable drive here. So we're selecting the destination now of the drive to make bootable. So keeping in mind that this pen drive in this case will be completely erased, all the data in it will be erased, and we're gonna make it bootable. So I'll hit make bootable. And again, it's gonna remind you that this data will be erased. And once you wanna hit proceed here, it's gonna go ahead and patch the base system image. In this case, it's taking again my OS 10 recovery image that I have, which comes pretty much standard on every installation of OS 10, and it's now putting it on my USB drive here. So again, just let it erase the destination disk and then set up the uh, recovery drive here, and we'll wait for that. And once that's done, you'll have your drive ready to go. And once the process is finally complete, you'll get this confirmation here saying that in this case, I have a bootable drive of Mac OS 10.11.4, ready for data recovery and powered by Distril. So after this step, the process would be, of course, now close Distril, restart your Mac that you want to boot from the disk created. So whether it's this current Mac, whether it's another Mac that you're having issues with. And then while we're starting, you're gonna hold down the option key on your keyboard. And then you're gonna see a list of hard drives and what you're gonna to wanna to select is the disk drill boot. And then you can follow the instructions from there. So again, this is really great for getting into a system that may be damaged if it has a you know partition, whether it's on the software side or just on the hardware side or hard drive that you can't get into, but you want to be able to recover data. Creating a bootable disk is always handy to have. And just handy to have in the case that in the future, if anything goes wrong, you have it already created and ready. You have that recovery and bootable drive good to go. So all of that can be done here with Distril. Check it out today.